I think we can start off by talking about your shoes because everyone gives you compliments on them. Can you show us your shoes? Yes. Oh, wow. These are my shoes. What are they called? Crocs. They're Crocs? Uh, they're a special kind of Crocs, though. Do you know what kind they are? No. They're called Salehis. Can you say Salehi? Salehi. Say Salehi Crocs. Salehi Crocs. And then hit them with the... <laughs> what color are they? Green. And they're very vibrant green, right? You look at them and you say, wow. Are those your favorite pair of shoes? Yes. What other pair of shoes do you like? Mm, sneakers. What kind of sneakers do you have? Um, red ones. You have red ones? With stars on them. Oh, I remember those. Those are cool ones. Yes. Do you wear those? But we got those for you because those can be used as water shoes, right? Yes. Have you been playing with water stuff at school? Yes. What does that look like? It looks like a sprinkler, like a little round thing that like the water shoots out of. Okay. Kind of like when we go to the park and they have water that shoots out, right? Yeah. At least it's a circle. Oh, this one's a circle. Yeah, like that. Rather than just, just a regular just shooting out once? Yeah. Okay. The next topic that we have to talk about is you just spent two full days with Grandma T. Did you guys have fun? Yes. Do you love Grandma T? Yes. Uh, tell me what you guys did. Or maybe just one thing that you did. We jarred chalk all over the town. You did draw chalk everywhere. You actually did chalk really, really well. That was going to be my last, that was going to be my last thing to talk about. Don't do that. Because then it sounds, then you won't be able to hear you. That was one of the last topics we were going to talk about, but I think we can talk about it now. We drew chalk all over the place. What did you draw? I draw the T-Rex. And then we also made what at Papa's driveway? A race. A racetrack, right? Yes. The finish track is, the finish line is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's about as much as I can contribute as far as art goes. It's just checkered patterns. <laughs> we had to get up early this morning, huh? Yeah. You, when you woke up this morning, I don't think you know you were awake. Because you woke up and you walked into the bathroom. I said, where are you going? And you said, I don't know. You were still a little bit sleepy, huh? Yeah. Does that mean we're going to get a nap in today? Oh, I could use a nap. I can use a nap right now. You think so? Um, how would you fall asleep? Where would you sleep if you had to sleep right now? Um, on the chair. You just put your head over the side? You think you'd fall asleep? Yeah. I would just... You think you'd fall asleep like that? Show me one more time. Did you already take your nap? Hey, you you pretended I snored. Uh-uh, it wasn't me. Yes, it was. It might have been Hurley. No, it's you. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm, it was me. <laughs> I already knew. Yeah. Very smart. Although, I don't know how you knew because your eyes were closed. <laughs> Just because of your voice. You can tell by my voice? Mm-hmm. Very good of you. You know what? You are, you have a, um, well, one, you pay attention really well. You have a really good memory, but you're also very observant. <laughs> and you like to make noises. <laughs> hey, so there's a couple, I mean, we talked about songs before. Are there any songs that are, that, that you really like? Mm -hmm. New songs? Hot Cross Buns. Hot cross buns. That's a slap. For sure. What else? Mm. 
I got the magic in me. Oh, magic by B.O.B. Yeah. That's a good one. And stuck to glue. And stuck like glue. The magic song. How does it start? Mm. You really like the intro to that, huh? I don't know. I don't want to do it. You don't want to make the noise. Do you want me to? It goes, boom, 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 boom. I've got the magic in me. Doesn't it make you want to dance? Are you sitting up? Are you going to dance? No? You just want to make eye contact? Yes. All right, hold on. Let me look back at our topics. We've got a lot. Um, Oh, you have to tell me two other things that you did with Grandma. You did a bunch of sidewalk chalk. What else did you do? Um, I, we went to the park. You went to the park? The one by Papa's house? Did you get wet? Because yes. that thing, that will spray water all over the place. Yes, were I you, got wet. Were you wearing a swimsuit? Mm-mm. So you just, we said we're going all in. Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah. I love that you did that with grandma. All right. One more thing that you did with grandma. Hey, put those back on your head. One more thing that you did with grandma. A potty break? Uh-oh. An unplanned potty break. Is it number one or number two? Okay. That's number two. It's number two? We gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I, have, I have to move it up. So what I'm thinking, Ty, is that we should talk about a very important topic. About kind of what just happened. And a lot of girls are afraid to admit that they go poop. Isn't that silly? Uh, yeah. Because everybody poops, right? Yeah. Did you just go poop? Yeah, see? I was not afraid. Yeah, that's not a big deal. What the heck? Why do people think, oh, I definitely don't poop when they do? They do. (laughs) That was so funny. It was, right? It's just a silly thing. Yeah. We don't have to be afraid. When we go poop. You heard it here first. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to live in fear. That would be so silly. That's so silly. The silliest, right? Yeah. Because it's such a natural thing that everyone does. Yeah. You may may lead a new movement here, Ty. Yeah. We really have to talk about this. (laughs) (laughs) You're right. The last topic that we have yes, is people wanted to ask you questions about love. Do you know what love is? I do. About, about helping people. Yeah. And being kind. Okay. That's love. Okay. I like that. Who do you love? I love my friend Ray because he's so nice to me. Yeah. Yeah, and he... Even invited me to his beach party. That's so fun. He invited me to his birthday party. What happened at this beach party? We, like we found crabs and then we put them in a bucket. Ooh, you found what kind of crabs? Mm, sea crabs. Sea crabs? Yeah. Were they hermit crabs? Did they have a shell? Yeah. Mm. They were Herman Crabs. Hermit Crabs. That's awesome. All right, so you love Ray. Who else do you love? Mm, my whole family. Awesome. Do you love anyone else? Mm, even my friends. Yeah. Ray's one of my friends. Right. And Maddie. Who? Maddie. Maddie? Yeah. Maddie's Ray's, Ray's a big brother. To Maddie. Maddie is Ray's little sister, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's very nice. Mm-hmm. She likes to play with you guys. Yeah. Right. And, she, and she can even say Thai. She can say Thai? Yeah. Was that her first word? Mm-hmm. That's pretty interesting. 
That was our first word. Do you think Matt? Do you think Maddie loves you? <laughs> of course. Of course. Why? Because is she kind to you? Yeah. How do you know she loves you? Cause I, cause I can tell, baby. Oh. Like I can tell, like I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, cause she, cause whenever I come over, she says Ty. Mm hmm. That's a pretty good way to tell that she loves you, huh? Mm hmm. Are there any other ways to tell if someone loves you? Uh, they, they can talk. Okay. Like, Maddie, Ty was Maddie's first word. Yeah? Mm hmm. What about adults? How do adults show that they love you? Mm, they tell. They tell you. They tell you? Yeah. Cause they can, cause they can talk. Mm -hmm. So you know, adult loves you when they say, "I love you, Ty." Yeah. What else? Are there other signs of love? When do you feel loved? Um, when someone hugs me and when I'm not lonely. Mm hmm. When you're not lonely and someone hugs you. Mm hmm. And and when I hug myself. You hug yourself. But I thought we talked about this. You're not very, you're not alone very much, are you? Nah, we didn't talk about this yet. Um, you do you think it's important to hug yourself? Yeah. Why? Because, because just I'm a doctor. Okay, and and because you're a doctor, you know that hugging yourself is helpful. Yeah, but not helpful. But it makes me feel relaxed. Makes you feel relaxed. Can you show me how you hug yourself? That's what we call self-love, right? Yeah. And that's important, right? Mm -hmm. We have to love ourselves. Right. And I think that's two very important lessons is that we have to love ourselves and everybody poops. Let's say if we had to find a third lesson for today, because those are really, really important topics. Is there anything else that you want everyone to know? Uh, I'm a doctor. You're a doctor. Mm -hmm. And how did you become a doctor? I'm just a doctor. Okay. You just, that was just, oh, you're a doctor? Yeah. Do you help people? Like when we got, when we, when we got a boob on his knee, I went inside and put every, and I put, and I put my hat on, and I put, and I put, I only put my hat on, and actually I didn't put my hat on. I just grabbed a bandaid and ran back outside. Oh, you didn't put your uniform on. No, and and then I, and then I went to Way's dad, and then Way's dad put it on him. I gave it to him. I remember that. I remember you telling me that story. You didn't put your doctor hat on or your gown. No. What do doctors wear around their necks? A stethoscope. Very nice. But I didn't wear them. No, because you already knew what the issue was, right? You didn't need to check his heart or his lungs. No. Because mm -mm. you're smart because you're a doctor. Yeah. Because when your dad lifted his shorts up and boom. So I can tell you how he got a boo-boo. How? So we were running up and down my front yard. Mm -hmm. And then he fell and he got back up and then way checked his knee and then boom there was blood and then I ran inside as quickly as I could and you got a band-aid yeah they went back outside gave it to his dad and then he was feeling and then he was feeling a little bit better oh that's nice and you did that for Ray because you love him right yeah do you think you could, you would do that for someone that you don't love? What if there was a stranger that fell down? Would you help them? No, why not? Because, like, if I was, 
Like, if I was walking without a parent, then I would not help them. Because we're not supposed to talk to strangers, right? Yeah. Okay, that's oh. good. You kind of got me on that one. Um, what if you and I are walking together mm -hmm. and you see another kid fall that you don't know and they scrape their knee? Would you help them? Mm, if, if you would come with me. Yeah, I'd come with you. But I still would help them. Yeah. Try not to do that. Try not to mess with that because then it makes a lot of noise for all the other ones. Okay. That'd be very nice of you to help to help someone that you didn't know. I think that's also a form of love. Yeah, that's part of love. What else? Is there anything else involved with love? I know. Hmm. So, like if some, like if someone lost their shoe and I helped them find it, then that that would be love. Okay, and that's yeah, that's helping other people, right? Mhm. Mm if you lost your shoe, would you be sad? Yeah, and I would ask another kid, then they would find it for me. Help you? Mhm. Mm Do your friends help you at school? Mm, yeah. Do you have nice friends at school? Are all of them nice? Yeah, but one, mm, two are bad. Two are bad? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, Jordan's getting better, but he's getting better, but um, he's like in the middle, but Aiden, he's not even getting better. No? Nope. What, what makes you say that? What makes him bad? What, once he pushed me in the heart. He pushed you in the heart? Why did he do that? No, he did. Why did he push you in the heart? I don't know. He was just being mean? That's pretty mean. And he even pushed my best friend, Joanne. He pushed Joanne as well? Yeah. He pushed both of us. Maybe he's just angry and he doesn't know. Maybe he didn't mean to be that mean. Maybe he doesn't know how mean it is. Yeah. You think? Maybe that's how he plays. Maybe. Maybe that's all he knows, yeah. Or maybe he thinks that's nice. He could be. You know, sometimes when boys have crushes on girls, mm -hmm. they're mean to them because they don't know how else to act. Mm -hmm. What do you think you should tell Aiden? Joanne's good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're best friends. Yeah. What do you think you could tell Aiden? If he's being mean to you or he's pushing you. I don't know. You say maybe, hey, please don't push me. I don't like that. But how about if he doesn't listen? Well. He doesn't listen to the teacher. I don't know. So maybe then just avoid him? Maybe just walk away. Yeah. And say, you're not very fun to play with, Aiden. What about the other person who's getting better? What did you say their name was? Jordan. Jordan? Mm -hmm. Jordan's getting better, though? Yeah. What does he do to be mean? Mm -hmm. he, what does he want to hear what he did once? Yeah. So, at nap time, I was coloring a sunflower that the teacher told me that Jordan snuck under the table and bit my leg. He bit your leg? Yeah. Why? I don't even know. That's an interesting thing for a kid to do. Like over here. Yeah. But but it doesn't hurt now. That's good. Did you say, hey, please don't do that ever again? No. It's not nice to bite. Mm mm. That's the worst thing. That is that is a bad that one of the it's up up there. Why now, were you, you I were, know I know how Biden feels. It feels like that. Yeah. Maybe that was a good thing. Maybe we gained some perspective because now you know how it feels to get bitten, so you don't want to bite other people. Mm -mm. Unless you have to, right? Yeah. <laughs> you keep getting lower, you gotta pull that microphone down so we can see your pretty face. 
You're getting hot? Yeah. You, you, you think we're good for the day? I think we got a, a lot of really good content. Wait, but first we have to take a little rest. Just a little rest? Yeah, first we have to take a little rest. In here? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hot in here. Don't kick the microphone, please. No. I saw it. <laughs> um... Okay, well, can you say bye to all of your listeners? Can you say bye? Thanks for listening. Okay. You got to grab the microphone. Uh, I'll put on these. You don't have to put those on. You can just talk into the microphone. But they won't hear me. No, you won't hear you. I can hear you right now. Just pull the microphone nice and close. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Make sure you don't be scared to poop. And? And make... Shh. What did we talk about? We talked about what love is. We talked about self-love. And make sure you help people. And love yourself. And love yourself. And if you only hug yourself. Can you say, Ty Murphy, signing off. Ty Murphy, sign off.